Hello guys. You can see this is the HP laptop and this is my power button. I'm just going to own this laptop. You can see it's loading. Okay, you can see a yeah, boot device not found. Okay, this is the problem in my laptop. It is giving me some instruction. Please install operating system on your hard disk. This is a hard disk error code 3F0. For system diagnostic, it is telling me to press F2 key. For more information, it has given me the website address to visit. How to fix this problem? What all are the possible reasons for this problem? If you are getting this error in your laptop, there might be hard disks in your laptop with the operating system in it. But it is not being able to load your operating system for some reason. This is the first cause. And the second cause can be maybe your hard disk is crashed and your laptop is not being able to access your hard disk. To make sure whether your hard disk is crashed or not, you can see here just press F2 key in your keyboard. Here is my F2 key, I'm going to press it and I get this message. System diagnostic, okay. It is telling me to press F1 for the system information, F2 for the startup test, F3 for running test and F4 for the hard disk test. I am going to press F4 key in order to test my hard disk, whether my hard disk is working properly or not. Let's press F4 key in a keyboard. You can see here, here is my F4 key. As soon as I press my F4 key, I can see here hard disk not exist. That means there is a problem with my hard disk, not with the operating system in a hard disk. Just go back, you can see hard disk test failed. If hard disk test has failed, you need to go with the hard disk solutions. You need to open your laptop and just change your hard disk. If you do not change your hard disk, it will really become a difficult for booting a system. There are several reasons and solutions for this. At first, what you need to do is just press a power button. Okay, you can see here is the power button. Just press a power button for some time and just turn your PC off. I have turned my PC off. Just unplug a power cable from your PC. Turn your PC. You can see over here, this is my hard disk. In order to fix this problem, at first, what you need to do is just unplug your hard disk cable. Unplug your hard disk cable. Okay, I have unplugged my hard disk cable. So in order to fix this problem, either you need to change your hard disk. Your hard disk might be completely crashed or you need to change this SATA cable of your hard disk. You can just remove this SATA cable from here. Okay, just remove this SATA cable and just change this SATA cable. Okay, once you remove and change this SATA cable, if your hard disk do not have problem, it is only problem with the SATA cable, then it will fix your problem. 
If problem is not with the SATA cable, you need to change your hard disk. So try changing the SATA cable first and then try changing the hard disk. If the problem is both, sorry, if the problem is with the both hard disk and the SATA cable, you need to change your both hard disk and the SATA cable. This is only the solution for the problem that if it fails your hard disk test. Okay, we pressed F2 key and we went pressing F4 key in order to test whether your hard disk is connected and working properly. If the test fails, means there is a problem with your hard drive and you need to do all these things in order to fix these problems. Change the SATA cable and test, change the hard disk or change, or change both and test. And if your hard disk test passes, okay, if you do not have any problem with your hard drives, you follow the same steps for testing your hard drives. You press F2 key, go and select F4 key in order to test the hard drive if it displays the message like your hard disk test pass, okay. So there is a problem with your BIOS settings. Next what you need to do, I will show you. Just plug your device, okay. Just plug your device. This is the second solution. Once you just test your hard disk and just test your this. Uh, cable okay if there is no problem with all this what you need to do next I'll just show you okay you go and press your power button let's see my laptop is just starting again so if you do not have any hard drive problem you fix your hard drive problem what is the next solution if you are getting the same error You can see here, I am getting this error, okay. Let's see, let's press F2 key again and check for the hard drive test again. Here is my F4 key and you can see hard disk not exist, okay. If the problem continues, let's say if your hard disk exists, okay, and you passed your hard disk test, okay. Even after passing the hard disk test, you are getting the same error. How to fix this error if there is no problem with your internal hard disk? You just need to turn off your laptop. Okay, just turn off your laptop. Okay, unplug everything from your laptop. Okay, unplug everything from your laptop along with this power cable and all. Just turn your laptop. And what you need to do is just remove the battery of your laptop. Once you remove the battery of your laptop, just turn it back again and just perform the hard test. How to perform a hard test in your laptop? Press this power button at least for 15 seconds. Okay, once you press this power button for 15 seconds, it will just wipe out your every power socket problems. Okay, once you have done this much, this is for your hard test. Once you have just performed your hard test, just turn it with your laptop back again and just put your battery. Okay. Insert your battery properly. Okay. Once you have just inserted your battery, just turn your laptop again and just turn it your laptop. Um, this time, just go and press power button on your laptop and press the F10 key continuously. Here is my F10 key. Press it continuously in order to go to the BIOS setting.
Okay, it will open my bias setting now. Okay, press escape key. Okay, so you can see here, this is my bias settings. In my bias settings, what I need to do is, just I need to press here somewhere F9 key in my keyboard. Once you open your bias settings, you can see here, here is my F9 key. This is my F9 key and I need to press my this F9 key now. Just press it. It will ask you for load setup default. Just press yes and press enter. Okay. It will just load your default setup. Once you have done this, go to the system configurations. Select your system configurations and you will just need to go to the boot option. Okay. Press enter. In boot options, you can see all these different boot options. Okay. In that, you just need to go to the boot order. Okay. So somewhere in the boot option or the boot order. Okay. Right now, my hard disk drive is crashed. Okay. So I'm getting this problem. Okay. But if your hard disk drive is not crashed. Okay. Let's say it is working properly and still you are getting the same error. So if hard disk is crashed, I am just showing you in the beginning how to fix that problem. And this is the next solution for the next problem if hard disk drive is working and you are getting the same error masses. So what you need to do is just perform your hard test by removing the battery. Second is just remove, sorry, go and go to the, uh, open your bias setting and press F9 key and restore it to default. Perform the hard test, restore your bias to the set, uh, default. And next you need to do is just go to the boot order okay either you need to go to the boot option and check somewhere for the legacy okay if you see anywhere legacy option over here okay right now i do not have legacy options because my hard disk drive is crashed but if your hard disk drive is not crashed or if you have just fixed the problem with the crash you are getting the same error you just need to check for the legacy in the boot options or if you do not find over there, it must be over there in the boot order, you find the legacy. Once you find the legacy, just go back. You just need to select and just press enter and just, you just need to select enable, okay. Not for internal network adapter boot, but for the legacy, this is just to show you how to select, enable and disable. So once you enter in that particular options it will show you the options to enable and disable so search for the legacy remember okay legacy okay and just enable that legacy okay and on the secure boot okay if you see the legacy enable that legacy if it is disabled you need to enable that legacy and just secure boot should be enabled okay you must say enable the secure boot okay so enable the legacy enable the secure boot and just boot your pc okay while just uh, enabling or disabling your secure boot okay you will just uh, get a message like uh, enter some passcode okay so just it will display over there what the passcode to enter just enter that particular passcode and just enable your secure boot okay so Sometimes, if enabling your secure boot is not work or not working properly, okay, your legacy must be enabled, okay. But if it is in secure boot is enabled, and if it is not uh, being able to boot your hard drive securely, better you select disable options, okay. And if it is uh, not booting with your uh, disable options, select the enable option for the secure boot. Okay, so and for the legacy, you must enable the legacy. Okay, that is the must things that you need to do. You must enable your legacy. So once you just enable your legacy, just go back. Once you enable your legacy, you just need to press F10 key. You can see the F10 key in the keyboard. Just press the F10 key and just click yes for to save and exit and just reboot your systems. Once you reboot your system, you'll see that your Windows is loading.